Hey guys! So today I have a mini beauty haul. I received a Neiman Marcus gift card from a friend a few months ago, but I didn't really need anything, so I haven't used it. It was just in my wallet. But last week, I decided to splurge on some makeup. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got. And today, I'm not wearing extensions. But yeah, my hair is growing fast. Remember I cut it a few weeks ago? It was like this short and now it's already past my shoulders. So I got two foundations and no, they're not the same ones. They are both Giorgio Armani foundations, but one is the Luminous Silk Foundation and then the other one is the Lasting Silk UV Foundation. I read a lot of great reviews on Giorgio Armani foundations, so I wanted to give these a try. And these are um, different. Let me start off with the Luminous Silk Foundation. I haven't tried this one yet, but here is how it looks, the bottle comes in this really nice glass packaging and like I said the color is number four it's in the pump but I heard the luminous silk foundation it's more of a luminous like dewy finish with a light to medium coverage with no SPF and I've never bought a luminous like dewy finish foundation so I wanted to give this a try so I'm going to try this out for a few weeks and then I'll probably do a review and let you guys know what I think of this so this contains 30 milliliter one fluid ounce okay now this other one is the lasting silk UV foundation in color number four and the bottle looks exactly the same I compared it side by side and I think the lasting silk in shade number four is a little lighter than the luminous silk but i think this one matches me better the other one is a little darker this is in the shade four and this one actually contains spf 20. i've also read a lot of great reviews on this foundation so i'm wearing this foundation right now i just applied it and tested it out um, to film this video and I love it. I think I love this as much as my Shure Matte Foundation. It gives a medium to full coverage. Today I used one pump and first I applied one thin layer all over the face and even that thin layer, it got rid of my redness around the cheeks and around the nose. And then I went ahead and applied a little bit more on top of areas that I thought I need more coverage. It gives a very natural finish. It's not even as matte as the Estee Lauder foundation. Like when I look in the mirror and I apply one thin layer of this foundation, it just looks like my skin. So I think I found my new Holy Grail foundation. I will be using this for a few weeks and then do a review for you guys. Moving on, I got another YSL lipstick and I've been obsessed with YSL lipsticks these days. And I got in the color number 13, Peach Passion. I know this is one of the popular shades. That's how it looks. I haven't tried it on, but from the swatches that I saw online, I think it was really similar to my favorite MAC Ravishing. So let me just swatch it and see. So this is my MAC Ravishing. This one is a cream sheen um, finish. And then of course, this is going to be more glossy. Ooh. Okay, so which one was it? Okay. Here's my favorite ravishing lipstick, and then here is the Peach Passion. They're pretty similar, but the Peach Passion is a little bit more pink. Love why I saw lipsticks, especially their pretty packaging, and it's just so moisturizing and pigmented, beautiful color. So I got another YSL lipstick, and this is also in this shade 13. Okay, um, the Peach Passion is Rouge Volup, and then the one I'm going to show you is Rouge Volup Shine. So, they're both number 13 though. This one is number 13, Pink in Paris. 
So a lot of people use this lipstick on YouTube and it was such a gorgeous color. I didn't see it on Sephora, but I saw it at Neiman. So I bought it right away. And this is a lipstick that I have on my lips today. And it's just a perfect rosy pink shade. Swatch this for you. This is like the perfect rosy pink shade that I've been looking for everywhere. And you can wear the sheer or build it up to this color. If you just apply it very sheer, then it looks really natural. It's like my lip, but better. So from Bobbi Brown, I got a corrector. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Bobbi Brown concealers and correctors. And this is in the color Porcelain Bisque. I know I already have this, but Y'all knew he always digs in my vanity because he could reach the drawers now and he's always playing with it and throwing stuff everywhere. So I can't find this. I don't know if he like threw it away or it's like hidden somewhere, but yeah. I decided to just pick up another one since I can't find it anywhere. It just looks like this. And I've used this in a couple of my tutorials. There's a small tiny mirror there. I will have to say out of all the characters, this is the best one that I've tried. It just eliminates my dark circles and also brightens up the area. Let me just show you really quick. So I just use my ring finger and just dab it on. Okay, and the last thing that I got is my favorite Kiss Me mascara. And I also use this in almost all of my tutorials. This is the best mascara that I've ever tried. I always use the Kiss Me Long and Curl, which really helps lengthen and curl. It doesn't really give a lot of volume, so I use my Shimura on top to give me more volume if I want. So got the Volume and Curl mascara. So I'm going to try this out and I'll let you guys know. I'll probably use it on a future tutorial. And I actually got both of these on eBay for $13. I think one, I usually pay like $14 or $15, but yeah, it came with two for $13. Let me go grab mine and show you. Okay, so here's the one that I've been using and I'm almost out of this. Um, this is how the bristle looks like. This mascara works great for those that have really short um, lashes. And once I apply this mascara, my curl just stays up all day long. So that was all the things that I got from Neiman Marcus this past week with my gift card. And yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys later.